So at the moment in the veil, vale, uh, in my high lordship, let's have a look who's under us. We have the Grey Glen. Uh, this is the Tollet. The Tollets are another family I really like. Uh, if you guys know Ed Delirious, uh, he's on the wall. You should know him by now. He's the one who always talks about maybe... He's, he's kind of sarcastic. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. He's the sarcastic one. Um, if you've watched the TV show, uh, he actually has like a, a beard and not long hair, but he's quite sort of shoulder length hair, I guess, almost for a man. Um, he's a really interesting character. On the TV show, he's not as good because in the books, he has lots of one liners and stuff. And he's just so funny. He's a lot of people's favorite character. Um, so a lot of people really like the Tollets, even though all we know is this one who's on the wall. Um, and we also have these guys, Redfort. So Redfort, we have Lord Humphrey Redfort, uh, Gregarious, cruel, slothful, stubborn, and cynical. So we have these people, so we have quite a few people. Uh, he's a family person, diligent, honourable, and ambitious. Mark well, the Tollet seems like a good guy. Uh, no children, though, and his wife is 33. That seems like a mistake. They probably should have given him some children. And Aegon has defeated the Iron Isles. That is not good. So, ah, and his father died. So King Harren the Black was killed. Uh, his sons all survived. So we now have Lord Paramount Harwin of the Iron Isles. He's been kicked out of the Riverlands and been made Lord Paramount of the Iron Isles. But who's been made Lord Paramount of the Riverlands? We have Lord Arian Quahoris. Ah, so he's made, he's given him Harrenhal and made him, no, nope, just the High Lordship of Harrenhal. Okay. These places are all independent because they were fighting an independence war. So the Sea Guard, the uh, Malisters, the Bay of Claws, which is Darry. Yes, it is Darry. Uh, the Brackens and also the Pipers. Those ones have all become independent. But Aegon, okay, so he's given it to a Valerian. Not surprising, you know, he is Valerian. He's going to give places to those who came with him. Okay, the title, High Lordship of the Seastone Isles. And he's now declared war on the Reach. So the Reach and the Rock, he's fighting both at the same time. Okay. Oh, wait. Defending against King Mern the Ninth of the Reach in Reachman War for Lord Duncan's claim on Dalston Keep. Uh, and I don't feel too well. That's Wow, that's great. I might die before we've done anything. Uh, so it looks as though the Reach and the Rock have an alliance. They probably have a marriage alliance. Probably one of his sons, if I remember correctly. Yep. So one of his sons is married to a Lannister, so they were allied together. Again, like in history, Aegon fought them both uh, on the Field of Fire, I think it was called the battle, where he defeated both of them with his dragons. Very, very sad battle. Jesters, minstrels, acrobats, and dancers all have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting noises, tempting scents, and alluring sights. Tries to lure people to various stands, performers, and tents. Uh, oh no, not again, I'm cynical. Yeah, that probably is a good one. Yeah, cynical, we'll go with the cynical one. That's what he would choose. He's not so fond of fairs, probably. But yeah, so he's fighting them, but he's actually defending. That is very different. They're actually going to attack him and his dragons. Perfect. My fever's gone. It'd be interesting to see if they can actually win. Can the Reach defeat him? So at the moment in the Reach, the kings are the gardeners. The Tyrells are, are not there. This is becoming a bit of a history lesson. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you do know, though. Uh, I need a new ambition, apparently. Uh, Ten of Logan Steel Sword, become independent. Let's go with five, have five children. But yeah, so the gardeners are the ones who are kings. Uh, in the battle against the Aegon, they are all killed. And so Aegon puts the Tyrells in charge. Which is usually why the Tyrells support Targaryens in future wars. Because they're there because of the Targaryens. Okay, let's choose one for our son. Okay, he's really bad at most stuff apart from intrigue. But hmm, maybe I should play to that. Should I make him good for command? Then again, he will rule. He doesn't need to be good at commanding. His brother could be good at fighting. Do you know what? Let's get him educated at court. 
And then we'll we'll have his brother good at fighting. That's what we should do, shouldn't we, Rober? That's what we'll do. So a lot of things change from this point. I say none of this is spoilers because this is this is history. Uh, oh, and look as so though they took, they've taken King's Landing or should I say Blackwater Bay? Right now it's not King's Landing, it's called Blackwater Bay right now. So it's not King's Landing yet. Uh, I guess he creates it later on. Ah, let's click the teeth. We've got some more money, but we've lost our septon. Ah, so we have a new septon. And we need someone to educate my son. Who will educate my son? I want a good fighter, maybe, also. Roba could be. I mean, he's, he's an okay fighter. He's got good diplomacy, stewardship. His learning's okay. Maybe he's actually quite a good one. Let's, let's send him to the Tollers. I like the Tollers. So I quite like the Tollers, then. Ah! So it looks as though the Reach actually won. So the Reach was able to defeat Aegon in an offensive war. Has he still got his dragons? Yeah. How did he lose? How many men can you get? He only has 7,000 men. Maybe that was it. The Reach and the Rock just poured over with men galore. That could have had an effect. But so far, his uh, oh, new Lord Commander. So it looks as though... Lord Commander Roderick Horay died a natural death. We have a new Lord Commander, Gerald Hardin. So he's a Veilman. Ah, good indeed. And he's depressed. The Hardins, actually, they're another interesting family. Uh, we don't know much about them from the TV show or the books. We don't meet them that much. Except for in the Duncan Egg novels. So the Duncan Egg novels, if you don't know what they are. Okay, Roland Foot has been inherited. Uh, the Duncan Egg novels are like a little side story that J.R.R. Martin has written that are set like, I don't know, a was it 100 years before, um, maybe it's 90 years, I think it's about 90 years before the events in the book. It started as an uneasiness around guests and strangers, then evolved into awkwardness and a strong feeling of discomfort. Huh. I'm hung I'm authoritative. Yeah, I can't be shy. I'll just have to try to be more gregarious. Perfect, yeah. I'm authoritative. He can't be shy. That'd be silly. But yeah, and the Duncan Egg novels, if you have not read them, please read them. They're really good, actually. I read the first one. I still need to read the others. They are quite hard to look for sometimes. Uh, a raven has arrived from the Citadel. We should rejoice, as winter is coming to an end. Very good. No more winter. Perfect. But yeah, we get to meet the Hardens in the first book. And the Harden in it is pretty epic. He's actually a really good fighter. So you get a really good imp uh, impression. So he's attacking Bay of Claws. Yeah, so he's attacking Bay of Claws. That war won't last long. And there you go. <laughs> they gave up straight away. Ah. Always forget to click this. Always forget to click that. So how the factions then in the Vale? So we've deposed King Ronald, uh, set up by the Priors. Priors, God damn you. What are you doing? You disloyal fools. No longer Guardian, okay. You've been instructing your young Brian. He's not cooperating, great. The Rainwoods are in charge of his faction. Another good family there with the Rainwoods. Uh, also up here we have the Hunter family. And down here we have the Waxley family. They've been made the High Lords of Wickenden. And over here we have the Graftons of Gulltown. So quite a few High Lords in this area. Ah, so how to educate my daughter. Let's uh, educate you at court maybe? It looks like court might be best for you. Maybe numbers. Nah, court. You'll be educated at court, Danella. So far, things have been peaceful for us. Aegon has done well so far. Who's he attacking now? Uh, Prince Coruxa the Wise in Queen Visenya's conquest of Tall Trees Town. What? Let's have a look here. Oh, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. So, Queen Visenya has made a host. 
and she's gone off to attack someone and she's pregnant. Uh, so Aegon has a daughter. So that's his heir, Princess Velena. Uh, she's attractive. She's married to a betrothed to a Celtiger in a normal marriage. That doesn't seem like a good idea, Aegon. You must be really hoping you're going to have a son. That seems like a bad idea. Okay, but yeah, so it looks like Visenya's actually gone off in a host to take somewhere. Wait, wait, she's gone down. <laughs> okay, so she's gone down to tall trees. So she's attacking tall trees. Okay, so this is very weird. Visenya, the queen of Aegon, his sister has gone down to the Summer Islands and is attacking one of the Summer Islanders to take their land. So we could have two Targaryen kingdoms in the future. That is very, very odd. I did not expect this. So we have a few Dothraki over here. Uh, everything looks the same over here. Yaitai, Asai. Oh, these places. We couldn't even end up in one of these places up here when I die. So that could be interesting, playing as one of these or in the Bone Mountains as they're called. Uh, educate my courtier. Amabel. Um, do I really want to spend money on this courtier? I have no time. I can't spend money on someone I don't know. You're not family. Family is important to me, not, not you random people. So Aegon looks like he's put his hold on the conquest of Westeros so he can help his wife. Uh, my daughter needs someone to educate her. This one is good at diplomacy. Roba, wow, he's got very good at diplomacy all of a sudden. Actually, how about Jonathan? Do you know what, Roba, actually, you're going to do my daughter as well. We trust the toilets. We like the toilets. I feel like my guy's being too trusting, maybe, though. Maybe we're being too trusting with our children and the toilets. How long is our king got? King Ronley's 13. Still got a couple more years. I think he should get to adulthood before Aegon comes back. He's had another daughter, though, who has a lisp. That's not good. He really needs a son. And at both 30, he needs to get a son very quickly. Or it could pass to the Celticas. I do like the Celticas, though, really. Only because of their weapon. The Crab's Pincer. The Larian Steel Axe. Okay. So who's got this? Occupied by King Aegon. So Aegon has really gone in and is attacking the prince. Oh, and it looks as though we have Lady Visenya of Tall Trees Town. <laughs> okay, this has gotten very weird. Agnatic Gavelkind. Oh, so it could pass to the king. And she is Dark Sister. Yeah, another thing that's interesting is what happened to the uh, Valerian Steel Swords? I, I don't think I can remember. No one seems to know where Dark Sister is in the current timeline in the TV show. Ah. Huh. What is this? My dear lord, if you think I let any vassal of mine support factions conspiring against me without taking action, you are surely mistaken. If you value your wretched life, you will swear not to form any such factions. Okay, this is kind of silly again. Uh, the faction system, uh, because they've added the faction to be loyal to your king, the problem is with the AI in the game, they think that this is always bad. So they'll always ask you to stop, which is kind of silly. Um, it's not worth dying for the, if, or if there's no afterlife, because I got cynical. There's no shame in backing down over this. Humble. Okay, so they both give me the same thing. Uh, there's no shame in backing down over this. Yeah, let's go with that. doesn't really matter. But yeah. So that means now I have to leave the faction, I guess. Oh. Well, let's leave the faction for now. Just in case. I f that's really silly and it's really annoying, but there's not much we can do about that. He's now attacking... Oh, okay. He's uh, defending his slave raid on Tall Tree's town. Oh my god, he has to keep protecting his wife. Queen Visenya, why did you attack this place? Very, very, very weird. I'm not really sure what is going on down there. Neither of them are pregnant. Oh, she's 37 as well. 
So she's very unlikely to have children. Oh, she has a bastard. Janos Waters. Okay, so we have a bastard Targaryen boy. No father, though. We don't know who the father is. He's taken a new wife, Queen Jaehaerys. Oh, Jahera, or something like that. That could give him a son. Uh, at the moment, the Summer Islands, though, is all uh, separated, a bit like Westeros. Um, nothing else is going on. All very quiet. Our king has been very quiet, maybe because he's a young boy. There's not much he can really do. Uh, his queen mother, she is the regent. Uh, he has no one else. Who would be next to inherit then? Prince Arston Aaron. Okay, so there's oh, still some Aarons left. So that's good. He's not the last one. Uh, but sinister forces. Oh, god damn. He's harming my relationship with my king. God damn you. Oh. Queen Visenya has died of poor health. So this means it has been inherited by King Aegon. <laughs> okay. So things have already come quite weird. That means what happened to the dragon? What happened to the title of the Riverlands? So he's created the title for the Riverlands. Who will he give that to? Who will he give the Riverlands to? But yeah, what happened to her dragon? So she has no dragon. Ah, conquest of the Reach. So King Aegon has con now continued his conquest of Restoros. He's now attacking the Reach. Will the Rock come in to help the Reach? We'll have to wait and see. Oh, his father died of severe maimen. His wife is Joy Lannister. So the Lannister should really try and come in and help him. Uh, his brothers don't seem to be very good fighters, though. The Gardens don't look like they're in a good position. And there we go. The Gardeners decided to give up instantly to Aegon the Conqueror. So Lord Paramount Garth Gardner, he's given up to the Targaryens. Wow. This does not leave many people. And now Aegon the Conqueror has declared war on Mountain and Vale. And our young king, Ronal, he must defend us. Greedy, deceitful, diligent, and gregarious. We must help our king. Do we have soldiers? I'm raining. Is he going to take me with him? Yes. Oh, and we gave up. God damn. My lord, Ronald Aaron, your liege lord, has surrendered and bent the knee to the dragon rider, Aegon Targaryen. Clearly he felt fighting such formidable beasts is folly. I will have to serve this new king. So it looks as though we decided to give in to the dragons. Our lord decided to bend the knee. And we've declared war on the Lannisters. Ah, Ronald, come on, we wanted to fight them. Uh, this has made me upset. I'm now upset with the Arons. I'm upset that the Arons did not fight for the old ways. We're a proud and old family. We should have fought for the old ways. And we just gave in to these foreigners from a far off land. So now we're fighting the Rock. They have a very young boy. Uh, the king died after a period of illness. Uh, king Lyman, Lannister. My work tasks bore me. Uh, conversations with my courtiers bore me. Everything bores me. I need something new and exciting in my life. Some hunting will cheer me up. Or a new bird. We'll go hunting. Ah. So what is this? King Lord Rober, the realm is in a state of war. And as such as your liege paramount, I command that you provide men to support my armies. He's staying neutral, yes. We agree. We'll, we'll stay neutral for now. <laughs> 